Hi guys, it's Chris. Hey guys, it's CJ here, otherwise known as Jersey Who 90. So, like I said in my last video, almost dropped the scissors. In my last video, I had no block too, so let's get on with no block. Um, I really can't remember what the theme was now, but I know there is guaranteed to be Star Wars because everyone's going Star Wars bonkers right now. So it's bound to be something Star Warsy. So we shall see what we got. I'm gonna let you put it up here. It might be easier. I don't know. Whatever. Right. Let's just see. Right. There's something small down here. Let's pull that out. They're really going with these right now. We've had an awful lot of them. It is a gun on a keychain. It's a nickel plated sink. Nerd block keychain. I don't know what it is. Well, I know what it is. It's a gun. It's a gun. We have a nerd block keyring, and the charm that's on it is a gun. I don't know where that's from. Um, that's the second one now that I've got like that off from the block that I couldn't really tell where it was from. Uh, oh wait, no, the other one was a ray gun, which was just a standard ray gun. So this one's just a gun for some reason. I don't know if that's a particular gun for anything, but to me it just looks like a normal gun. But hey, that's a cool little thing. That's okay. That's, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Oh, I didn't feel a t-shirt instantly. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Why? I don't know why I went for that first. Weird. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it could be. I think it's a pop that's just upside down. Could we have got two pops this? Oh, a death. Oh, yeah. It feels like a pop from the bottom too. Interesting. I'm gonna leave that to last anyway, or as close to the end as possible. Right. I pulled out the t-shirt next. So, Let's see what this is. Oh, now that is, um, interesting. Um, uh, they've done it again. They've done, like, um, they did this arty thing. Hang on, my mum is going to interrupt me because I just heard her say she's going to go to the loop. <laughs> Having fun? Yes. Oh, goody woody. Oh, goody woody. Yes. Goody woody. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Now, this is interesting because in the last sci fi block, they did this sort of arty, um. I couldn't decide. Oh, Kylo Ren? Wasn't it? They did an arty, or was it a Stormtrooper? Or was, I think it was a stormtrooper. They did like an arty stormtrooper. Now this time we have an arty something else. Is it meant to be Darth Vader? I have not a clue because it's... I just can't tell what that is. I think it's supposed to be Darth Vader but it's really difficult to tell. Okay. Sorry about that, my battery went again. That's twice in one night. That battery can't be fully charged because I literally just put it in um, for the last video, so, but anyway. Um, so now we have this RT, I think it's supposed to be Darth Vader, but not sure. So yeah, it's an interesting thing, but I'm not sure if I'm really that keen on it because it's so RT. I'd rather it just be, uh, oh, I, be what it is, you know? But hey, yeah, interesting. Luke Craig definitely wins with a shirt this month. Alright. What else? Oh. Oh. What's that? I think we have uh, some sort of ice cube thing. But there's a smaller thing. Let's see what this is. Ooh. It's a thing. It's a box. It's a box. One side black, one side thing. It's a Star Trek thing. Ooh. Really? Oh my god, movie era captain rank? Seriously? 
Oh, that's cool. Certificate of Authenticity, which I can't say. This is to certify that this is a movie era Captain Rank pin. Is an authentic prop replica produced by blah 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 under license from blah blah blah. Recreated from a, a f architectural material blah 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 blah. Uh, you of the original filming prop as seen on screen in the movie Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan of Khan that's awesome that's really cool so why is there a picture of Spock wearing it that doesn't make sense because Spock wasn't the captain Kirk was. That's really weird. Unless he was for a time. I don't know. I can't really remember. I don't think he was though. That is an awesome thing. It's literally a pin badge. As you can see, it's a pin badge. But look how cool that is. It's literally an authentic pin from the movie. So that's awesome. That's really, really cool. Um, that is awesome. From the original movie. That's really cool. I love that. That's awesome. That is a really cool thing. I love it. So there. That's it in its... And there's a really nice container that it's in too. So yeah, awesome. God, this is going to do my head in. If I do that. There we go. That's a really nice item. I love that. What was I saying earlier? That there's not enough Star Trek stuff in boxes? And um, Star Trek item. Woo! Right, and this is... Oh. Bound to be Star Wars. Vehicles. It's a Star Wars vehicles ice cube tray. Hmm. Yes. I thought it was Loot Crate that put stuff like this in their boxes, but hey. So, yeah. Again, they're very big. This is we got Marvel ones in um, the loot crate, and like I said, it wasn't very, and they're very big. And these are the same. They're very, very big ice cubes. So, and I presume it's from the same make. So I presume, yep, have bush only, and do not place in the oven. So you couldn't even use them as cupcake molds <laughs> because they're not that because they're not heat proof. So yeah, it sort of sucks. You can't even wash them in the dishwasher. So, yep. Yeah, that sucks. But hey, I mean, it's cool. It's a cool thing. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use it though. So, I might sell this one. But hey, yeah, it's, it's cool to have ice cubes of funny shapes though, I guess. So I might keep it. I don't know. Oh, Gilda. There we go, got it. So yeah, that's a thing. But hey. Oh, I've got no space. Oh, got it. Didn't mean to look in there. Anyway, all I saw was the back of the pop. And that there's a comic in the bottom. So... I don't think there's anything else hiding around the sides. So there's cards at the bottom, but you know, let's pull the pop out then. And oh, it's Star Wars. Hmm. Of course it is. It's Star Wars. I see. I told you, everywhere is Star Wars. Like so right now, every box is Star Wars. Um. So this is the fighter pilot. He's actually really cool. I like him. I don't mind. Yeah, that's cool. Um, the thing that bugs me is there's so many Star Wars pops. That's the only reason why I haven't got that many of them. Because there was there's so many of them. That it would just take up too much room to have them all. So, but this one is a cool one. So I think I'll keep this one. Um, 
I might just correct I might just collect the main characters in them, so like Leia. You know, just like the well the well known characters like Ewoks and stuff. Like the Ewoks and C P three O and R two D two and B B eight. Um and a stormtrooper, yeah, a stormtrooper, Leia, Skywalker, Han Solo, just those ones probably. Uh, you know, all the ones like that though. You know, that are well known. Um, and the cool, unusual ones, of course. But yeah, so I don't think I've shown you it yet. Sorry, I've just been staring at it. But yeah, oh, you can't see because the shit, the, 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 there, that's a bit better. Sorry about the glare. Oh, you can just see the shine. <laughs> he left the door open. I can hear the TV now. Anyway, I'm almost done. So yeah, that's cool. We have that, which is the first door. First. The fighter pilot, which is cool. I like that. I'm actually going to take him out of the box so you can see him better because that glare is annoying. Ooh, the box is different. That's weird. The box is a background. How strange. I can't get it out. Oh, blooming bobblehead things. Ugh. The poor dude. I don't think that's supposed to happen. And hey, look at him. He's stuck. Oh no. Oh, well, that's the base. Look at him. His head's disjointed from his body now. I got him. God, the poor thing. Oh, that's slightly bent it, the poor thing. Oh no. Get back to right. Oh no, now he's got a crooked head that way. And as always, these come with stands for some reason. Nice stands. I don't know why they don't all come with stands like that, but they have their name on it instead of just saying where they're from. I'm a bit concerned that his head is... His head's crooked now because of that. Oh god, he's just got a wonk. And it's getting worse. Instead of better. That's better. He's not as wonky now. There we go. He doesn't really bobble though because of his... His helmet is just like... He's lopsided. But yeah. There he is. He's pretty cool. He's all black. That's the problem. You can't really see much detail because he's so black. That's... God, I hate this camera for focusing. Oh, whatever. I can't get it any better than that, I'm afraid. But yeah, he's a pretty cool pop. I like him. He's cool. He's awesome. Um... I don't particularly know what to say about him. Um, he's very black, but he's pretty cool. So I'm think I'm gonna keep him for sure. But yeah, especially now I slightly um think I I don't know his head is slightly at a wonk and it's bugging me. He had an accident. He got stuck in his box because he's silly. But anyway, that's cool. I like him. He's adorable. So yeah. Oh, and this is base that goes with him. That's the only thing that bugs me, is the, why do the Star Wars ones come with bases? I mean, you know, why? What's so special about the Star Wars one that they get a base? You know? A proper base, rather than just a plasticky base. I have unfocused myself. That's better. Yeah, so, weird. Anyway, he's cool. He's going to go back in the box. And he will stay in there. For now, anyway, there we go. Yeah, he's silly pop. Silly, silly, silly. Anyway, that's cool. Um, 
Why is there a backing card? Look, there's a backing card to this pop. That's so unusual. They don't normally have backing cards. Maybe it's a new thing. That adds a bit of annoyance to the whole. Or is it another? Ex or is it another just? Or is it just another Star Wars thing? Because it's Star Wars, they have to be special. I don't know. But it's odd. But hey, that's cool. I like him. He's a cool little thing. And actually, looking in the thing, he does have a slight wonk to the side when he's in the box. So maybe he's supposed to have that wonk. But hey, that's cool. I'm going to put him on the floor because of the angle. Right, and this is what? Oh, it's not a comic. It's floppy. What's in there is cards right now, so it's a thing. It says, greetings from Moss. A wretched life of scum and villainy. I don't know where that's from. Greetings from Moss Ezeli. Elsa, El I have no idea what that is. Uh, it's a mouse map, of course. I don't know where it's from. Interesting, though. It's a floppy thing. By the way, I've just started, um, as you know, if you, because I would have both uploaded that video before this one, I got a PS4. And I've been playing Just Cause 3 and it's really good so far. I'm only up to, I haven't even got up to a point where I can roam freely yet. Or sort of. I am sort of up to, Yeah, well, yeah, I am. I can roam freely if I want to. Yeah. But, I mean... No, I mean, I'm only, like, on the, f like, fourth or fifth mission. And it's really good so far. It's really cool. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. The only problem is it crashes... It crashed, I've got to this one mission where, oh, I had just have to get to, I have to get to, um, my friend's, the character's friend's grand's house because, and I, every time I get to the house, the game just crashes down onto the home screen. It just crashes and it's really, it exits the game. Then it puts me, when I load back up the game, it puts me at the grand's house but back fire, but back for a, uh, but back, but um, three missions back from where I was. But I'm still at the grand's house, so I've got to go all the way back to where I was to get back there, and it's really annoying. And so I'm just gonna try and update the game, and if I can, and see if that will make a difference. But it's really bugging because, and I reloaded it three, I reloaded it four times. But it to um, try and get it to work, so it didn't. So, but it's and it still didn't. It still crashed. So, yep, that's annoying. So we have a shirt punch card, advertising shirt punch again. That's right. They're now including collectibles twice a week. Um, next month, No Book Classic is bringing you a fantastical item from Game of Thrones. You can also expect some great items from... Ooh, Harry Potter plus more fantasy. Ooh, Harry Potter, yes please. Brilliant, love that. Um, and cash from your nerve luck if you do something rather, which I haven't done. <laughs> so yeah, because uh, I'm rubbish. I should do that actually and put the link in the bottom. But anyway, whatever. I'm not that bothered. Right. So, uh, could you have got multiple ones? I think you could have got multiple ones. So that's cool. So the obviously the big product of the month was the Funko Pop <coughs> and it shows three on there, it shows is that Darth Vader? is that Unmasked Vader? Um, Luke Skywalker and the one we got um, the fighter pilot 
I think. So, yeah, okay. That's cool. Oh, that sort of sucks. <coughs> okay. So what was the theme? It doesn't say what the theme was. <coughs> was this theme also Galaxy? It must have been because it's all Galaxy stuff. <coughs> I'm sorry, I keep doing that. So anyway, we got a fungo pop. We got a first or um we got a fighter pilot, you could have got one of those three that are there. Um right. Yeah, it is um Right, so the shirt is a Star Wars shirt, so I presume it's Darth Vader on the front of it. Um, then you had the exclusive No Block Blaster keychain. Oh, so it's a blaster. Okay. Um, you had... Um, Galactic Vacation... Destination mouse pad, one of three, so you could have got three annoyingly, and one of them looks like it's a it says Endor, so that was a bit. So <coughs> one of them said, "A visit the forest moon of Endor." That one would be cooler than the one I got. Um, it doesn't even tell me where they're from, so that's rubbish. Star Wars Ice Cube trays, there was one of three you could have got. Oh, you could have got Han Sandra and Cobra Carbonite. Now, that would have been a cool Ice Cube tray. Sorry, but that would have been awesome. Or you could have got, um, is that Darth You could have got Stormtroopers, Boba Fett. I can't tell who that is. Or... Or that. Or Darth Vader, I think that is. There's four people, different characters, so they, they would have been cool as well. But the, the ships are okay. Then you've got, as a tribute to the late Lemon and Emoy, here's a science fiction goodie from another well-loved space franchise. Show you your known... Show you the known universe with the star rank for this pin that is suitable for labels of formal wear and jackets and jeans so that's cool the pin is the item in the block for me personally <laughs> that's awesome i love the pop the pop's cool but the pin is the best thing for me that's the there you know but then i i love star trek um so so a star trek item probably would win out of everything else anyway but yeah so i love the pin that's the best thing that is yeah, I love it. So I think it's the best thing. How is this even in here? I suddenly had that thought. How was... Oh, was this stuff like that? Oh, yeah. It would have been. Anyway, so that's cool. So I'm sorry if this video has been long and um, a bit laborious and a bit all over the place. but And coughing a... Uh, and ha having coughing fits all the way through it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, um, oh man, my head's gone. I'm sorry. God, I am not in the right space of the head today. Anyway, so hopefully my notebook boys will turn up tomorrow and I can unbox those two together. And maybe I'll have a collectible geek. Really, really, really hope I have a collectible geek tomorrow. That'll be awesome. Um, is that it? Is that all I'm subscribed to? Apart from the ones that come at the end of the month. End of the month, not ender. Eh, I don't know. Anyway, whatever.
I'm gonna go because I am spouting rubbish now. So, anyway, awesome load of stuff. That's a really cool load of stuff. I love it. Um, uh, yep, the Nerd Block t-shirt could have been better, but hey, the Loot Crate one was awesome. Yeah, what could I say? Uh, yeah, that's cool. Um, yep, Nerd Block never fails to, um, you know, they never fail to, they never, you know, even if I don't like the stuff, it's still good stuff, you know, Loot Crate never put anything entirely bad in it, so, what did I just say? Loot Crate? No, wrong company. Nerd Block. Nerd Block never go, never, n Nerd Block never put crap in, is what I'm say trying to say, rather, unlike some other places. I could mention. Mind you, so the other places are getting, some of them are getting better, so, but still. But I mean, it's all good stuff. Um, that's a really cool keyring. The ice cube trees, trays are really useful. This replica badge is the best thing, like I said, I think, in the box, but that's just my opinion because um, the fact that I've never seen Star Wars. I don't care for the mouse map because I don't know where it's from and who if you want if you need a mouse pad you've got a mouse pad so yeah it's a bit meh. but hey it's cool if it were, if it was something cool then it would be fine because you couldn't find something to do with it even if you used it as a decoration on a table rather than a mouse mat um but that one just doesn't appeal to me at all because i don't know where it's from so yeah but i love this i don't get me wrong about the whole I just haven't seen the Star Wars movies, so I'm just not as inf enthusiastic about those stuff as I would be if I knew more about it, if that makes sense. But I will watch them eventually. Um, before the next one comes out, I will watch all of them all the way through, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go now because my food is just beeping, so that means my food's ready, so yay! Anyway, I'm going to go, that's all I can say really. It's okay, it's not the best thing, but it's fine. I can hear it! Yeah. <laughs> but it's not, it's cool. I like it, there's nothing bad in it apart from just the mouse mat I'm not that keen on. So, but they never put anything crap in it. It's all good follow stuff. I mean, the t-shirt is 10, the pop is 10. The value of the box is 20, so, you know, you've got your value just with the t-shirts and the pops, so everything else is a bonus. So, I'm happy with that. Anyway, I'm going to go. I shall see you later. Thank you for watching. Bye!